What's going on, everybody? C4, welcome back to the channel, and today we're here for episode 6 of our Carolina Panthers Madden 23 franchise mode. Here today, we are hosting the undefeated San Francisco 49ers, and we have got to figure out how the hell we are going to stop Trey Lance. We are fresh off our first victory of the season against like a legitimate playoff contender in the Arizona Cardinals. Beat them 33-14. Now, they were missing DeAndre Hopkins. But the, the big tail of the tape was we protected the football. They did not, as shown by Kyler Murray with his three interceptions here. We're able to run the ball extremely well. Christian McCaffrey carrying the load for the Panthers here today. 207 yards rushing, two touchdowns. Chuba got a nice touchdown there. DJ Moore, 78 yards. Got a 51 yards on seven catches for CMC. It was just a dominant performance from our running back. A dominant performance from our defense. JC Horn led the team with eight tackles we had a couple tfls there by brian burns and nixon get make some plays in the backfield and three interceptions dante jackson jeremy chin and the returning josh norton who we straight up signed up the street because you guys want to see a mentor tag player help kind of you know boost the xp of our young secondary of jc horn of dante jackson of cj henderson of chris westry of kalon burns and he came in there was an injury late and he got the game ceiling interception that was probably the coolest thing that has happened so far in this series. Oh, oh, Josh Norman! Let's go! He's back. He gets garbage duty. And he gets an interception. Look, the kid's going hype. Josh Norman off the street, back in Carolina. So now it is time for 49ers week, but as always, guys, every single video, I just read through the comments. Anytime there's something that you guys bring up that I want to address, we will do so. And we got some things here. We made a pretty glaring omission when we were uh, handling a jersey number, which we will correct. But before we go into that, I do just need to give a shout out to Woofs on Twitter. He reached out to me and wanted to do some graphics for the channel. Hooked me up with this little webcam box, which looks fantastic. Hooked me up with a brand new banner for C4 More, our secondary channel. It's going to be primarily Eagles content. There might be some older Madden sprinkled stuff. Maybe we go back to Madden 22, do some PC mods, have some fun with that. All that is going to be on the second channel. If you're not already subscribed to that, go do so right now. But first thing is first, the number one comment on episode five was just an utter blatant disrespect by me. So we originally gave Roquan Smith, whoa! All right, originally with Roquan Smith, we gave him Jersey, I can't remember what it was. It was Thomas Davis's number. And everyone was like, yo, you can't give him Thomas Davis's number. So I just quickly went in, I was like, all right, we'll give him 51. That's not Luke Keekley. Literally, it's the only retired Jersey on the Carolina Panthers. It's Sam Mills, who was a part of them, I believe when they were an expansion team, made the Hall of Fame. So I just had enough comments saying, hey, C4, can we just go ahead, give him his college number. No one's even using it right now. So we are moving Roquan Smith back to number three. Secondly, as it relates to Slaughter, Slaughter's felt like they were in a great spot. Obviously, anytime you get a victory, you're going to be like, well, let's not mess with it too much. But again, it comes down to fumbles. No one knows what fumbles are. I keep getting lead people say, if you raise this fumbles, which we had to 55, it increases our chance of forcing fumbles on the CPU. So I'm, I'll trust that that's now the case. That's now the, by definition what this does. And we're not really having a whole lot of issues in terms of fumbles. The issue is our players fumbling when it shouldn't be happening. So we are going to take the CPU fumble from 50 and we're going to knock that down to 45 as this should affect our rate while we are playing on offense of fumbling the football, which needs to be tuned down just a little bit. As far as lineups are concerned, there was enough people saying C4, take DJ Moore and put him in the slot. He should be our starting slot wide receiver easy routes get him the ball more and even though i do like that 93 speed on the outside even though i think you know out of all of our wide receivers i think he's our fastest wide receiver therefore should have the highest likelihood of actually winning on those streaks i saw more than enough people say let's try him out in the slot so going up against the undefeated 49ers which is going to be a very very tough game why not maybe we can find ways to get dj Moore the ball a whole lot more by having him in the slot we also have 54 staff points that we can spend haven't really been hoarding them it's just Hasn't really, you know, come to a point where it's like, that's what we need to spend our points on. So take a look at these. First things first, so many people are like, unlock the X-Factor ability. So CMC can have it. It's been unlocked since the very beginning. It's just, we kind of suck in game and haven't got Christian McCaffrey's X-Factor ability yet. Uh, but we have 54 points. I think, honestly, a big one for all our team is get this one. 18 plus five catching for wide receivers and tight ends. Feel like that can help. We've had some pretty rough drops here or there. Not going to highlight any wide receiver, but it rhymes with BJ Moore. 
so maybe that plus five catching is going to be a difference maker. Then after that, I think it is worth you know getting these XP boosts. Let's help with our team growth. Let's help with our team development. I don't know. You would argue that we have better young players on the defensive side of the ball, but I think we'll go defense just for the state of our roster. I think it's worth. So we'll get, we'll see if we can rock and roll. We got at least one upgrade there. It's plus twenty. Uh, we're gonna work our way down though, and hopefully get the final piece. <sighs> That's gonna be tough. That'll be our goal. That'll be our soft goal here this year in year one for the Panthers. Is like, cause you know we gotta get 20, 40, 60. We gotta get 60 just to even have a shot at getting that final 25 for the final piece. I think we might be able to do that when all is said and done, and at least go into the off season, going into year two, having the final piece unlocked here in our staff talent tree. And the last thing that relates to team building before we focus on this Niners week, I did see a suggestion or two that I, I think is at least interesting to open it up. And I'm doing nothing but just throwing you guys a little teaser here, a little little, a little cliffhanger. If we win this game, we won't even address it. If we lose this game, we'll end this video on this potentially pressing matter. So take that for what it's worth. Let's take a look at this 49ers matchup here. They're good. They're undefeated. How are they undefeated? Obviously, Trey Lance has been playing pretty well. They made a trade to get Kareem Hunt from the Cleveland Browns. I mean, much like our Roquan Smith trade, Kareem Hunt's probably the next biggest name right now that is, you know, I don't want to say actively searching for a trade, but there's rumors that he's very much on the trade block, very talented player, and knowing how the San Francisco 49ers like to run the football, that is annoying for us because we are not the best at handling the run team. Right now they are the number two ranked rushing off. Yeah, that makes sense. We're going to defend the outside run. we got to try our best to take that away. We're not overly terrified of what Trey Lance can do with his arms. But even Trey Lance, we got to watch him in the pocket. He is a good scrambling quarterback. Defensively, they are outstanding. They don't have a lot of takeaways, which is good. We don't throw up a lot of takeaways. But seventh best passing defense. Sixth best rushing defense. Third best in terms of total yards. So kind of looking at their play call tendencies there. They like to sit in zone. They like to either just sit back there or zone blitz. So I figure we're either going to go run outside. I mean, ugh. do we want to, do we really want to? It's one of those things where we, we will focus on the run. Yes, they have Fred Warner. Yes, they have Dre Greenlaw. Yes, they have great linebackers. But this is a matchup here that's like, it's it's more so CMC than Baker Mayfield. Do we, do we expect CMC to be able to find a way to carry this team to victory like he did last week? Or is this going to be at the game where Baker Mayfield has to stand up, get 300 yards, four or five touchdowns for us to have any chance of winning? And it just seems like it's going to be a matchup that CMC controlling the clock. That is how we're going to win this game. So let's also go with the suggested game plan of keeping it on the ground. Let's pound that rock. Let's get through practice. Let's be totally healthy. And let's find a way to get a big upset, even more so. And let's see, awesome, awesome. Derek Brown, high ankle sprain right there at the top. Phenomenal. He's not our highest rated D tackle. Don't need him. Don't need him when you're trying to stop the run. Unbelievable. Every week, I mean, it feel, almost feels like every week. I mean, practice injuries, I like the, the randomness to that to a degree. But like we, I don't think we've got a week yet where it hasn't been like an impactful starter. We missed Shaq Thompson has got ding once. Let's go for a quantum. We'll throw a little power in there. I know Shaq Thompson missed a game. And and now we have Derek Brown missing. I feel like there's another one in there. Uh, Corbett, starting right guard. 76 start to have right guard. He missed the game. So like three of our, now we're going to four games. We have missed a dev trait player. That is, and we don't have a lot of those guys. They aren't growing on trees here in the Carolina Panthers building. So, Jesus. I mean, even in terms of depth at D-tackle, are we going to even be able to play this game? Like, do we have depth at defensive tackle to even load this one up with Derek Brown? Look at that. We don't even have enough. What are we going to do? Oh, I think we found a guy. Give him a 50-pound fat suit, and he bulked up to 245 for the week. Keith Taylor. Don't know why the coaching staff keeps this guy around, but in a pinch for a one week, I think, you know, we're going we're gonna to see his utility here. Probably not going to stint the field. He's our third D tackle on the depth chart. 57 strength, 44 block set, 32 power move, 42 finesse move. But look, the tackle's not too bad. The speed, he might be the fastest defensive tackle in the NFL right now. 89 speed, 91 acceleration, 88 agility. You got that 70 pursuit. Didn't work out so much for old Keith Taylor at quarterback. But if he wants to keep around, if he, you cannot kick this guy out of the janitor closet at the Panthers facilities, he's we're going to make use of this guy. 
So we're going to throw him in. He's going to be D-tackle 2, technically. But we put Yatur Gross Matos inside with Davion Nixon. So, I mean, we probably will see him get on the field at some point. But hopefully it's when the game's already out of hand and the Carolina Panthers are up 30 to nothing in the fourth quarter. game gonna be a good game to test out those fumble sliders because we've been fumbling a lot with no rain with no weather conditions now it's a little bit more i hate the fact that that interception that happened um count it man brutal brutal seeing that blemish on the record so far for baker mayfield undeserved you should have no picks all right people were saying in the in the comments spin move for christian mccaffrey is absolutely bonkers so uh, we'll, we'll try to pop that out here a little bit today. That's why you pay him. We pay Chris McCaffrey like he's the, what, the highest, second highest, third highest paid running back. I'm not going to, you know, barely use him. Second and five, we got a chance here for a shot. We'll go to Colin Johnson, brings it in third and one. That's still the thing I think we're missing. If we're going to be aggressive and make a move before the trade deadline, as much as, you know, Mims and Marshall, I think we could do... For one of those, like, 97 speed. Just give me one guy that we... Like a Quez Walk man. Should we try to trade for Quez Watkins? Can we try to trade for... What do we have to offer? Quez Watkins is, like, exactly the one type of playmaker I want on this team. And obviously, all other things considered, man. That'd be awesome to get Quez on the squad. I also, just for for parody's sake... Oh, I, I threw Chuba Hubbard, even though it should be probably Foreman. I made him a power back, just so we can get Chuba a little bit more. Because, you know, as much as I want to just... Keep feeding CMC. The Canadian in me wants Chuba Hubbard getting some reps, getting more reps than what he is. So uh, hopefully we will see Chuba Hubbard in a couple more situations here. Second and 12. We got inside there to Colin Johnson making the most out of his opportunity. We, don't, we signed him from the Giants practice squad because Tommy Tremble suffered an injury. And I mean, he feels like he's carved out a role here. I'm not going to say he's going to play over Tommy Tremble if Tremble comes back, but... I mean, we got a great... And, and Ian Thomas, who's our third, and well, now would be our third tight end, he's a great blocker. I really like him as our fullback. So our, our offense is kind of figuring itself out here during a period that we thought we were going to be screwed with no Tommy Tremble on the team. First and ten. Good looking drive here to start for the Panthers. Come on, man. Brad Christmas at left guard. God, he sucks. B might be open here. Denzel Mims. No, we got... We can go to Colin Johnson. Wide open. Moves the chains. 3-3 three three for Baker. We're moving the ball well. <laughs> no, that's a touchdown. Dude, we just... That was a touchdown. DJ Moore. Looks like Fred Warner's kind of tired there, though. Might be able to get Johnson A in the middle of the field. But also, do we really want to challenge Fred Warner? Probably not. Might have been able to kind of flip that off quickly to Christian McCaffrey. But uh, no turnovers there. Take the points. Come on, that wasn't even that far off. That was a decent kick. Okay, we might need to start being linebackers here. I mean, we're, we pretty much got to eliminate one side of the field we, because we're not going to use the D-line that's going against Trent Williams. It might just be best to, okay. to chill with a linebacker. We'll go Roquan first and 10. 
See if we can help out against George Kittle, maybe. Oh, see. My bad. That was a my bad. Just like, oh, let's get George Kittle. George Kittle. And then leaves the entire middle of the field. Just blown assignment there. What is that? Wake up. I got to wake up. Let's get a user pick here. Not a bad tackle, Cody Barton. Mine. Oh! CJ Henderson. We get tackled by the lineman. Come on! Oh! Let's go! Gators, baby! What is he thinking? Just. I mean, I, I don't know if we threw him off. With uh, with uh, with dropping back into coverage, that was a terrible ball by Trey Lance. Man, our run game is not popping off right now, unfortunately. I wish I could stay here and tell you, guys, things are things are not looking great. We are not making anybody miss. Just going backwards after the interception. Yeah, we just have enough time. That that play couldn't develop. We we kind of you know stayed in the pocket there, moved around the pocket, didn't drop too far back. Pressure just got there too soon. I think if we had half a second more, that would have been a completion of more and would have been close to a first down. But our O-line sucks. Getting that interception last drive makes you feel like if they have to throw it, we feel decent. They go to Debo of the backfield. Hits like a ridiculous spin move when he was locked up by Jeremy Chin. We get a chance to get out the field here. Third and three. Let's go. We'll go to Shaq Thompson. We're going to try to watch Kareem Hunt out the backfield. At least there's no other, like, zone responsibilities. God damn it! He fumbled it! Brian Burns picks it up. Oh, my God. I don't know if that's going to stand. It looked like that might have came out when he was on the turf. But there's a chance. The undefeated Niners. Oh, that's out! 95 got it. Burno, 90, sorry. Burno gets the force fumble, the rookie. Let's go. We need points here. This needs to be touchdown city. All right, Mims down deep, more in the slot. Pick, pick. Fucking fuck! What are we doing? What are we doing? <sighs> got a sack there. Again, we, no one on my team get a full sack at once, but that's Barno. Got the fumble on the last drive. I cannot believe that throw. That's been like the one thing I haven't done this year is I haven't thrown bullshit fucking throws. And there's one right there. I have got to make up. There we go. Nice play there. Smith, Roquan variety. Gets the TFL. Oh, get off the field. I got to. I mean, I hate getting that. That's a, you know, uh, that's going to show up on Baker's report card. He threw a pick here today. Sprivert. No. Go. This defense is. Yes. This defense is amazing. Davion Nixon. What did we do? I put the sliders back. The sliders that affect me forcing fumbles. I went back to default. I had them juiced up a little bit. And the turnovers have been amazing. It's the weather. Brian Burns forced fumble on Trey Lance. Holy shit. This Panthers defense. Terrifying right now. You guys think Keith Taylor being on the defense? You know, being in... No, oh, come on. No one get off their blocks. Bop them. You guys think Keith Taylor's... You know, that week of practice, filling in on the D-line. has really elevated everybody's games. Oh, that was almost jumped. Beautiful third and eight. This Panthers defense came to play. Undefeated 49ers. Coming to town. They don't care. Oh, we're down our best D-tackle? We don't care. Oh, they got Debo Samuel. We don't have... We don't have we don't really have a DB that can hang with Debo, let's be honest. Josh no old man Josh Norman's getting reps out there. He's our corner four. Fine. Terrible! Go! What is that throw? Holy that This is gonna be an all-timer. This is an all freaking timer. J.C. Horde, pick six. The Niners are rattled. 
Trey Lance is terrible. Oh, yeah, baby. That'll do. That'll do just fine. There's no way. Ate that one alive. Give me the ball back. Been a minute since you've been on offense. We've got to make up for that bad. I didn't forget about that bad pick. Oh, man. Good running. CMC in to Niners territory. And you know what? Let's, let's go right towards Brad Christmas. Ikwi, Iki, Iquan. Look at Brad Christmas. He's getting a hat on somebody. Here we go. DJ Moore in the slot, as you guys said. That's our biggest pass of the game. Second to four. We've got CMC. DJ Moore back corner of the end zone. Or we just go to CMC, who's wide open. And that is super easy. Probably should put Fred Warner on him. Next time there, Kyle Shanahan. But at least we get that interception back. Put a tutty on the board for Baker Mayfield on the boys. What an opening first half here for the Panthers. We get into halftime, giving up no points. Worst case, a field goal. We're getting the hang of this. Oh, no. They're bound to get one, man. We've got that aggressive pick. They go back. That's a weird throw, but effective. And they are just right into scoring range. Let's get a half, only giving up three. Third and six for the Niners. They are in field goal range, but given every time Trey Lance steps back to throw, it feels like there might be a chance at a pick here. We'll see what we can do. Debo oh, moves the chains. But again, I, I don't think we're overly worried about a touchdown here. Oh, terrible angle. Come on. He does not get it. First and goal. Come on. Just field goal. Ben, don't break. Ben, don't break. Ben, don't break. Turn. What is that guy doing? Turn around. My guy was backwards. If he was forwards, that's a pick. Look at this. Look at the 26. What are we doing? All right, going in the second half. Uh, let's go up throwing a meet. I want to throw the ball a little bit more. And how we want to stop them? Well, let's defend the short pass for Trey Lance. Maybe get a couple more picks. See this one out. Oh, man, we got to play better. We got to make some more plays. Right now, momentum is with the Niners. Getting that touchdown in the first half. Picking on C4 at linebacker. That's what I thought. You make... Like, how do I make that tackle? A... A safe tackle. A should be my better player. Brings that guy behind line scrimmage. He's just like, nah, I just got to shrug up, Brian Burns, man. Not worried about it. Jesus. I know it's Kareem Hunt. He's a solid running back, but he's not, you know. Help me out here a little bit, fellas. Wasn't a great play. Wasn't a great play call. No one, no one really wanted to get open on that one. Maybe. I mean, we even tried. That's as quick as I could get that to be. Um. More. Nothing. Not nothing. Nothing there. Just literally, I wasn't even like. Just like okay. Look at that, look at that right there. Literally, I stayed in the pocket as long as you could. Nothing is there. Oh, good throw. And we're not even getting like decent drives where we can chew the clock off while we have the lead. It's literally just like, all right, three and outs. Bring his ass down. You know what though? You know what? The computer's playing realistic. Because when I'm in third down and all these, most often, more often than not, you only have the easy throw available because nothing is happening downfield. At least it's kind of across the board here. He's not taking the sack. He's taking the you know minus one throw. But same thing. We're, we're at least at least we're applying the same type of pressure that the 49ers have been able to do. And they're gonna go for it here. On fourth and eight, it's a kick. Okay. Wish coach came with a little bit better play call than this. But you know what? That was probably a Keith Taylor play call. Keith's like, Coach, you're not going to expect it. Let's go cover three when they kick the field goal. It's going to mess their kicker up. It's better than icing him. It's better than calling a timeout, and it works. No one no one likes making plays. We're going to go Colin Johnson quickly. 
They brought the linebacker blitz. I'll pick on that all damn day. And DJ Moore, off ball injury. Might have got that on the block there. Classic. I mean, he hasn't done anything anyways, but I want to see that man holding his wrist. Maybe we'll have to make a quest deal or something like that. Get a wide receiver out there. So, Hollywood Higgins, 17, is going to be stepping into the lineup for the time being. Oh, Mims, he wanted, he called his shot. Wait for an update. He has cray and wrist cramps. I think he's like someone to hook the IV up to his wrist. I think I, I, think I had wrist cramps when I was 13. And I had the Sears catalog. That's about it. And instant blitz. Take the points. And that one just gets in to the uprights. 24 on the board for the good guys. Who else? Who else? Who else makes that play? Josh Norman career resurgence. Someone get there. Someone get there. How did that happen? I'll tell you right now. They don't want to do this. That is like a benchable offense. How does he get that much bunched up beyond the ice cream and still get a gain of what was that 20 yards we gotta get someone out there that has some hustle can we get him please like shouldn't the ai be able to switch off like i let the computer handle shaq like shouldn't shaq thompson like switch on there quicker than he does all madden right it's all madden my right, guys oh here we go baby here we go first snap First and goal, biggest play of the game, Keith Taylor. D-tackle. Oh my god! He put out a chance at it! Before he got absolutely blown up. He, the lights were too bright. Keith Taylor actually got a little bit of a block shed there. Squared up Trey Lance. And then McGlinchey knocked him into next week. That was actually kind of hilarious. Alright, two runs did nothing. We got the chop. We got the we got the clock chewed. That's probably all about having DJ Moore at least back out there. Third and five. There's going to be a quick throw to Denzel Mims. And he's... Fuck me, man. Whatever. Can we just patch the offensive line, please? Can I get any sense? Like, one, two. It's like no no tackle. Got... And my tackles aren't scrubs. It's not like I'm doing pink sets and both my tackles are 65 overall. You know? Can we just fix the offensive line? Please. I feel like this game could be so much better if my O-line did anything he's, every time he scrambles he's gonna feel it the pursuit speed Barno freak come on Keith we need we need to change a change of momentum here Keith Taylor inside of course they look they show the respect they double team Keith Taylor but the only thing that's kind of good is that this has been a long drive for the 49ers. We're down multiple scores. If we keep playing like this, it's going to be like, you know, sub two minutes. And we're going to have at least a chance to try to run this one out. Like, they just keep going middle of the field. That is not a problem. I almost want to just say, you know, just protect the end zone. Let them keep going here. Maybe they start burning their timeouts. Maybe not. But the clock is their enemy. It's our best friend. Oh! Bring him in bounce. In bounce. Two minute warning. I think we're looking pretty good. Get out of here. Get out of here. Jack Thompson breaks that one up. I think that was George Kittle that they were trying to go to. Second and goal on the six. Man, I would love to just get like something to make them burn a timeout. Oh, and he caught it off the deflect. How many? Did, can I nerf that? That's the second time that someone's got to play off a deflection on our ass. Unreal. I mean, I guess they got the clock rolling there a little bit. Got the touchdown to George Kittle. It's going to be... I mean, they might even go onside. They're probably going to kick it regular. Look at that. Would have loved a little super linebacker out of Shaq Thompson there. Jump up and block that and bat that down. Go to the right. We get a little bit of blocking here on the right. We do not. Okay, we'll go mesh spot. This is probably one of my favorite plays just to get a quick throw off. 
We can usually do it before the uh, the 49ers inch to shed my entire line. Let's just get this in bounds. Maybe it's a first down. At least we get them to use that third timeout. And it's DJ Moore. Oh, that's close. This now turns into do we do we think we can get one yard to win the game? No, we gotta punt this. Right? We have to punt this. I already feel I can see the we gotta punt this. Oh, we could win it. Let's get a gong. That's what we need. Can we get our first gong of the series? It is up from Hecker. It's actually not too great, to be honest with you. Kind of an average kick. But they, they got to make some plays here with no timeouts to get into field goal range. And they get one, one play and they're already halfway to field goal range. Unbelievable. I do think they're going to be kicking into like an eight wind. They might not have enough time. Yes! They suck. We won. Yes! They pulled a Dak Prescott Cowboys. You suck. Trey Lance sucks. Panthers win streak is alive. Literally could not throw the football. It's two in a row, baby. That's 100% on our defense. Look at that. 75 passing yards from the Panthers. Touchdown, a pick. I just, I, the passing off. I think it's just the offensive line. Maybe we need to explore. A potential trade to get some speed at wide receiver. Obviously, we gave away speed by trading away Robbie Anderson. But, uh, you know, Quez is buried on the depth chart there in Philadelphia. Behind uh, A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. So, I mean, that'd be pretty cool. We could at least explore the option. But, like, right, right now, we just need there to be a Madden patch where they can make tackles. Like, your offensive line not be a complete liability. That's the biggest issue. I don't think any set of sliders is going to fix our offensive line and how bad they are. But we were able to persevere, man. We were able to persevere. 75 yards there for CMC. We had very limited in terms of passing offense. CMC also had that receiving touchdown. Colin Johnson, the only guy, did something to note. DJ Moore in the slot. Again, doesn't really matter. You don't have any time to throw. Um, but defensively, man, Roquan Smith, 20 tackles. Two TFLs, phenomenal. 11 for Shaq Thompson, 11 for Dante Jackson, 10 for Xavier Woods. We had three TFLs, two sacks for Brian Burns. Two TFLs there, Roquan Half sack, Gross Matos and Berno. Couple picks, CJ Henderson, 92 yard pick six, JC Horn. And the Carolina Panthers take down the once undefeated 49ers, 24 21. And with that, we can carry on into week six, where we will start off the next episode. Which, if you guys crush the like goal, we always have a thousand like goals here on the channel. We'll all up this Monday. We'll play this week six game here Monday. Against the Rams, we have a trade offer in for Frankie Louvu, our right outside linebacker. He's not really playing, kind of a miscast. I think he's more of a 3-4 type linebacker, tweener. Uh, and I did hype, I, I left the cliffhanger before week five, saying if we lost. Uh, I see some comments saying, C4, what kind of trade offers can you get for Christian McCaffrey? And I said, well, if we lost, it might be plausible that CMC in his current state would, uh, would request a trade offer. You know, can I go to a team that's more of a winner? Uh, those are just a quick snapshot. I don't even want to focus on them because it's not going to happen. Right now, he is very much your offense. Why would I want to try to trade away a guy on a two-game win streak that has been incredibly... He's been our offense. There's there's no other way around it. But I did bring up, if we want to add a little bit of speed, we want to bring in a guy... He's not even... He's wide receiver four. Fan, you know, channel legend. Quez Watkins. Totally reasonable. We got the Keith Taylor not turned on the lights. Totally reasonable trade target. Look at... I just want that speed. I want that speed on my team. I want that outlet on my team. And looking at what they would want for us. CJ Henderson, Hollywood Higgins, a third and a fifth round pick. What do you guys think? I don't like that one. That one is expensive. I can live with it. But let me hear what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me actually look at these right now. Give you guys a little bit more input. We have Frankie Louvu, 71 more of a pass rush linebacker than anything. And we're getting offered Eric Fisher, a guy we don't need at all. We don't need a swing tackle. And a seventh round pick. Um, not much to think about there. I'm going to go ahead and decline that one. Thank you very much, but no thanks. Indianapolis Colts. But that is two victories. 
if, if they didn't Dallas Cowboy that, they that game most likely would have went to overtime, and who knows how it would have finished. But we have two straight victories, and for that... That's, you know, we're not last place in the division anymore. It's the Atlanta Falcons. So that is definitely something. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. As always, if it is your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. We got plenty more Panthers content, rebuilds coming your way. We're very close to the release of the first, like, week one roster. And that might open up a little bit of a box that we can uh, consider some pink slips content. Maybe coming back on the channel. But uh, for all things, let me know what you guys think about maybe that potential trade. We have some offers there. If you have something that's maybe outside the box that we could offer Philly and you want to go and explore bringing Quez Watkins to the team, let me know in the comments section below. Any other comments, questions, concerns, feel free. I'll be checking through. We write down every single time things that I think should be addressed in the next episode. So uh, thank you guys for your constant engagement here uh, because that's that appeases the YouTube robots. The likes, thousand likes, the comments, it all goes together. To help out my channel and i very much appreciate that one so i will see you guys back here tomorrow if we get that goal for another episode of panthers franchise and until then it's c4 saying peace out